competence means ability to do something well so developing competency is very important because it helps you to do something successfully and efficiently there are four stages of developing competence they are unconscious incompetence conscious incompetence conscious competence unconscious competence today we are discussing about these four stages welcome back to panikar's vlog nothing but life let me take you through the process of learning the art of car driving which i feel is the most appropriate analogy to elucidate this explicitly imagine of a situation where you do not know anything about driving and you have identified someone to train you here you are unaware of the skill and lack proficiency you are not aware that a skill and knowledge gap exists in other words you do not know even which is clutch brake and accelerator this is unconscious incompetence you just follow the instructions here a stage of i don't know what i don't know after a couple of weeks training you started learning a little bit now you are accustomed to clutch accelerator and its usage you are aware of the skill but not at proficient this stage is known as conscious incompetence you are aware of the knowledge gap and the importance of acquiring new skill to bridge that gap here what you require is only a moral support from the trainer a stage of i know what i don't know you move further then reaches to a point where you are independent and are using skill and performing tasks but through conscious thoughts and hard work this stage is known as conscious competence you are driving independently but following all learned instructions this seems a very safe place not because you follow all rules but because you are conscious of what you are doing this is a growing and improving phase moving further will take you to yet another destination called unconscious competence here performing the skills becomes automatic you reach to a point where you have enough experience and you are confident that you can perform it easily so you do it unconsciously you can now make good work on consistent basis without even thinking about it such people they simply act and react on instinct you are an expert by all means one biggest threat here is unconscious competence breeds complacency at times for example coming back to the driving experience you are driving through an express way which has a speed limit of 100 km per hour but the competence sometimes demands much more from you which results you throttle for 150 km per hour i don't want to get into what happens when you over speed your high competence level might support this function but still an element of risk would always be there due to the unconscious factor in it so friends the best thing happens when your high competence level work consciously hope these four stages are clear to all of you thanks for watching wish you all the best